Hey, welcome back. Uh, I am fresh off of recording from uh, Streaming Matters with Dabs and Blue this evening, um, and I realized, you know, I missed one big topic here. Uh, so something that the earlier stable versions of Auto Widget did um, is they updated this path at the top where it says Cycling Path for Movies. Um, because of the action where you would initialize the widget, it was actually able to find that label and change it for you automatically whenever you did initialize it. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't, uh, I don't have any way to do that if I have removed my dependence on skin shortcuts, which I did, and that's uh, the biggest thing that makes Auto Widget 2.0 special is that I've completely removed the, the, the dependence on skin shortcuts. It'll work in any skin now and a lot better than it did before. Um, but I had to sacrifice the ability to automatically change that label for you. Now that doesn't mean it can't be done and this video is gonna show you how it can be done. Um, so if you go to your widget settings uh, for your skin, um, I am doing this in Arctic Zephyr 2 and the, the easiest way to show it is in Arctic Zephyr 2. It can be done in other skins, um, but uh, it's a little bit more complicated and you'll see why. Um, give me just one second and we'll, we'll walk through it. So if I go down into my skin settings um, and and go into my my home menu, uh, each one of these sections is, you know, a page full of widgets. And each one of these widgets is a page full of items, if you will. Um, and each one of these widgets, uh, in Cody's eyes, has what's called a container ID. And basically that's a number that Cody can use to say, this static path from shadow, this widget is showing in container ID three, or whatever, it's not three, but you'll see. Um, so what we can do is actually reference the container ID to figure out what label should be showing there. Um, now, in this skin, we're going to have to go find, in, in any skin, you're going to have to go find the container ID. So I have, on my power menu, this right here, toggle skin debugging. Now you could put this a shortcut to this or whatever. I will show you the action right now. Um, I'll go into settings and show it to you. Now this doesn't work in every skin. That's the most important thing here. This particular feature that I'm about to show you is specific to the skins by Jerial Monkey. So Aura, Horizon, Arctic Horizon, Arctic Zephyr 2. The original Arctic Zephyr probably does this as well. It's a feature that he puts in his skins, but not everybody does. Okay, so on my power menu, uh, again, not every single skin lets you edit this. So you may have to put this as like a submenu shortcut or something. Um, but this is the action that you're going to need to use. So it's telling the skin to toggle a setting. That's skin.toggle setting. And the, the setting is named debug info. And since it's toggling, it's just a true or false, on or off. Um, and what that does when we use it, right here from the context menu in my case, is it shows this overlay. And so uh, on the right hand side of the screen, just next to Superman 2, you can see that it says ID301. So that is actually what I have highlighted now, which is auto widget. Uh, on the left hand side, the auto widget main menu header. Uh, it's actually this whole list of all four options here is ID301. Now that means that this whole list right here is ID23101. Now I want you guys to remember that. Uh, this widget is ID 23101. Okay, you don't have to remember because it's a video and you can just go back. I said it two or three times. Um, but I thought that would be fun to say. So if we go back into our widgets and edit the menu, um, I'm going to just turn that off. Um, and say we go into the widget and change the label. So. Cody has what are called info labels. And when you use them in text in like a label like this, you have to do a dollar sign and then the capital word info. And then it's gonna get these square brackets like this. 
okay? And we want to say container 23101 because that's the container we want to look at. And we're going to say list item. This means each of the items in that widget uh, have a property on them called auto label. And now what this does is when Cody runs into this, when it's going to when it parses this info label and makes it say its value, it's going to look at the item that we have highlighted and figure out what auto widget thinks that thing's label should be. Um, you'll see when it loads in a second, anytime now, I promise. Um, there you go. So it now knows that this item, Superman 2, and all these ones in this widget are from a place called recommended for you. And it fills that in. Um, so you could also do, uh, for example, it doesn't have to be only the info label. Um, the consequence is, if you go back to, to edit it, you got to do it again. Um, because at this point, and this is kind of weird, but we know that this right here, is ID 304 um, and so this label is actually looking at um, anything that is focused it's kind of hard to explain but basically it doesn't know what that value is because we're not on the home screen anymore um, sorry long-winded but we could say like movies and then make that same command here Whoops. And I'll put the kind of template for what this is. I'll put that in the description down below, as well as the one for toggling debug. Um, I'll put that one down there too. So you can kind of see how this works. Um, but you can use other stuff in there too, not just the info label. So, so now when this loads, it's going to say movies recommended for you. Uh, that may or may not be something that's helpful for you guys, but for example, you could put the group name there. Um, so like if you had a group that was all shortcuts from Shadow, for example, all widgets from Shadow, um, and then you you did Shadow, hyphen, and then that long info label, then it'd say when you finally got to see your widget, it would say Shadow, popular movies, or you know whatever you have it set up as. So that's, um, you know, that's setting labels. Uh, these, this will also work for static path, and it will also work for merge path. Um, actually, I take that back. I don't believe it will display anything for merge path. Um, I haven't tested, actually. This is a fun time for me, because now I get to go and find out. Uh, or maybe you guys will tell me in the comments. Hopefully this works for you guys. Uh, again, the the thing that makes this a little bit difficult is because not every skin gives you this ability to go find the ID. So like, for example, this one was 23101, but this one's 23102. And this one is 33101, but this one down here is 33102. And this one's 33103. So there's no... Um, unless you know the skin and you like know the structure of it, there's no way to really know these numbers unless you're given a tool like this where you can see this overlay on the, on the top. Um, aside from that, unfortunately, it means um, you may have to like look in your skin's files to find out what those IDs are. Um, I'd actually like to work with some skin devs to try to figure out if there's a better way to figure that out, uh, but I don't really know anybody that's going to help. So hit me up in the comments or like talk to me on Telegram or in Discord or something and uh, we'll figure that out because that's kind of the only pain point now is that you have to do it that way. Um, aside from that, that's, that's how you do it. Thanks guys.